welcome to another stream of Skyrim, if I can get it to start. So, last time when I did this, it took almost uh, 40 minutes just to get the game working. I was having trouble with OBS Studios trying to record the right screen, but the trial run seemed to go pretty well. I think I worked out all the audio bugs, hopefully. Uh, we'll see after this stream is done. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is a stream, uh, a playthrough with a purpose. Uh, I'm not just randomly playing. The idea w uh, came about on a Discord chat that I was a part of, and it challenged people to play one of their favorite games and then do some writing based on what they played. And... I like the idea of the exercise, so I thought, you know what, why the heck not? I could use something new to work on. I've been kind of dead in the water with my other fiction and with my personal novel. So I decided to do Skyrim and play it in the sense that uh, my character is traveling around with Sanguine, the Daedric Prince of Debauchery. So there's going to be a few differences. Uh, for one thing, this is a completely unmodded game. This is 100% vanilla gameplay. And obviously I can't have Sanguine as an actual companion in the game because, well, unless I mod it to have him there, he's just not available. He's only got one quest in the whole thing. So I kind of am going to have the invisible companion, you know, in my head while I'm playing, but obviously there won't be anything on screen. But as I go along, I'm going to try and play it from the standpoint of writing fiction. Meaning I'm not just going to teleport all over the place unless it is relevant. I'm going to try and play it from the standpoint of this is this person's day-to-day -day life. And they are just going along. Sanguine is with them. I've already written the first two chapters of this as the build-up uh, from the test stream. But now I'm going to actually do the streaming and try to pay attention during cutscenes and answer as she would. You know, try to think what he would do. One of the changes I will make is I will use console commands to add another 300 pounds to carry weight. Because technically speaking, in this idea, Sanguine is walking around with her and will be able to carry his own crap. However, I'm not just going to be looting you know, for the sake of looting. This is going to be really difficult for me because I'm the sort of person who loots everything. In my other playthrough on my other computer, I have an entire library filled with every book in the game. And I don't just mean uh, one copy. I mean every single book I come across, I shove into my knapsack. It's a little ridiculous. But I like to, the idea that my character just loves books and must save them all from these dreary dungeons. And she'll steal a book before she steals jewelry. <laughs> but obviously, I'm not going to do that with this playthrough because inventory is limited, etc., etc. And I'm going to try and pick up things that the characters would pick up. So the idea is that, you know, Sanguine is the Daedric Prince of Debauchery. So every bottle of wine, mead, any alcohol gets picked up and it's added to his inventory. And for her, she's more of the survivalist. She wants food and she wants, you know, supplies for the trip. She's not so much about picking up loot to sell. But as it goes on and she starts to realize that this is one of the few ways she can make money, she will start picking things up. But in the beginning, she does not want to loot any corpses. She does not believe in violating anybody's person for whatever reason, dead or alive. And so, it's going to be very difficult for me, me to not loot every urn I come across. Now, Sanguine, of course, will have no qualms with this, but he's more interested in the drinking at first. They have to learn how to be dungeon crawlers together, because in my mind, it's a little unusual that your Dragonborn knows how to dungeon crawl, like, right out from the get-go. I prefer the idea of, this is some random person who might have worked as a farmhand beforehand. And is suddenly, you know, thrown into this world of, hey, we need to go into this dungeon. She's like, why? I don't like it. It's scary. She's also terrified of spiders. 
mostly because I am. So uh, the shrieking you hear when the spiders are on screen, uh, screeners, gonna be some me, some me channeling her, possibly a mixture of both. So let's go ahead and just get started. And just start a new game. It'll be interesting actually getting achievements for the first time since playing this. Like, I've put so many hours into this damn game. And, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got, I think I've gotten six achievements <laughs> so far. <laughs> because, yeah. Uh, I, I always mod it so quickly. Things like open cities, uh, improved weather... Things of that nature, you know, things that make it look very pretty. Because Skyrim, even the uh, uh, latest edition, the special edition, is still a little bit on the old side when it comes to the graphics. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it is breathtakingly beautiful still. But it's not, you know, up to today's standards. So I like to make it pretty. But here's the opening. I will stop talking and just start playing. the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be in the home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a curve from here. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Where are they going? We need to go inside the room. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. 
One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Here of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Who am I? Definitely. All right. Uh, I'm gonna be playing as a Nord, uh, ju just because I feel like it fits this time. But, gonna be playing as a girl. And, eh, presets, they all look very generic in my opinion. I mean, they've got a couple of uh, good ones, but I guess it really just doesn't matter to me. <laughs> let me, let me just play around here for a second. See if I can find one that stands out more than the others. I actually like the face shape on that one. Hmm. I like how you cannot get them chunky. You just make her breast slightly bigger and her arm slightly bigger. That's about it. So, I usually just put it in the middle. <laughs> I do wish character creators could give you a little bit more, more control. I gotta say, Dragon Age Inquisition had one of the best character creations. I mean, that thing was incredible in how detailed you could get it. Because in this, you know, you, you've got all these smush noses and... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess it really, you know, you're not gonna see her face. She'll be hidden at almost all times. You might see her every now and again. I never understood really what that one did. Doesn't seem to give her an overbite or underbite. So, eh, it's gonna leave that in the middle. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fine. Actually, let me get rid of her hair because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Be bald. Or, oh, no. That works. That works. Usually I make them bald, but... Okay, go back to face. No, face.
over her five o'clock shadow. I do like the fact that they let you color the nose. So, you can give her a bit of a red nose, you know, to make her look like a bit of a drunk. Or, you know, sunburned. One or the other. Or you can just give her a very shiny nose. Because it doesn't matter where I put that. <laughs> she shines. Actually, now that I have her here, I don't like that face. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for me to see a little bit because the uh, screen is a little bit further away. Yeah, let's change that. Let's get something. Let's get something else. <laughs> There we go, that looks okay. I do not want war paint though. I mean, there's a few on there that are interesting. This one, I feel like, just makes her look like she had a bad night's sleep. Now she's a football player. That just... I've used this one before because I think it looks neat, but eh. Let's leave her bare. She's bare. I think the nose... Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, just leave the nose alone. Still can't tell what that does. have freckles but I see see I don't like that how it darkens her whole face but I want her to have freckles because you know she's pale and if you live in a country that gets any sun you get freckles trust me I'm kind of an expert on this I'm covered in them Here's the tough part. I can never tell what the colors are. I think that's green. Don't know. Pitch black, which is neat looking. I think that's kind of bluish. The red around it looks kind of neat. Uh, I think that's bluish, maybe. Okay, let's give her a little less eyeliner because she's got a ton. Goodness sake. I mean, she's about to go to her execution. She must be fabulous. bit more subtle there. <laughs> Did I see anything about chin height? So 
the chin seems really big. Ah, that must be on another part. Ah, mouth. That'll probably be where it is. Okay. I do like that they actually have some pretty good eyebrows in this. That is something Bioware could learn. They give you one, maybe two good eyebrows, and the rest of them I have never seen on another living being. Give her big and bushy, just like mine. Uh, yeah, mine has a little bit more of the Yona brow. <laughs> Mostly because I can't stand tweeds and the damn things. There we go. I like how the two soldiers are just standing here watching this transformation happen. It's like, oh my god, what kind of wizardry is this? Just don't, don't say anything, man. She might do it to us next. Boy, they really love the big lips, don't they? Yes, I know I'm taking a while with this, dang it. I'm enjoying myself. There we go. Give her a little less of a big old chin. Ah, there's the underbite. And now for lipstick, because she must be fabulous. Goth. I like this one. It's a little bit more subtle. It looks like she's just, you know, going out. She did her eyes a little bit, and now she's fine. Got to find something serviceable because she's going to be fighting. So I, I maintain that it's okay to have long hair, but you need to pull it back. There we go. I kind of like this one. It's very serviceable. It still gets a little bit on the shoulders, but it's mostly pulled back. And I'm going with this hair because I actually had a friend back in school who had this kind of hair. It Her hair started turning white when she was about 13, 14 years old. But it wasn't that kind of like old lady white. It was this beautiful bright snowy white mixed with silver and her natural blonde it was so pretty and I loved it so there we go our character is very pretty and I'm doing this name because I can make all the Meridia jokes I want <laughs> and there we go You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Frick Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. 
And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Etherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rag. Seriously, Ulfric is right there. there Why wouldn't you take him first? Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. I'm gonna make a few changes because <laughs> I for totally forgot that this game was set up on my work computer so that I could play it unmodded while still being able to play my modded version on the other one so um all the settings are off <laughs> um adept is fine uh Yes, I want subtitles and general subtitles. I forgot to do that earlier. Sorry about that. And that's all good. Now let me make sure the controls are still set what I want them at. Because there's something that really annoys me. Left hand M1, right hand M2. There we go. Because, yeah, it unnerved me because originally your left hand is on the right click rather than on the left button. That always pissed me off, so I always try to set it up here. So if my character is right-handed, you know, and it holding her weapon in her right hand, I want to be able to click the right button <laughs> to do that. That's always made me so mad. So, all right. Quick save. And run for our lives. <laughs> Inside. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Supposed to be fire there, but it didn't happen. Eh, glitches happen. Get on the other side. Jump through the roof and keep going. Go! We'll follow when we <laughs> Ow! Always burn myself. Now 
Now you do Soon get to see these two later. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide. <laughs> Since it doesn't matter which way you go, I always go with the Stormcloaks. It just seems to make more sense. I mean, the Imperials did just try to kill you. I'm sure they're nice people, but they did just try to kill you. who made it that thing was a dragon no doubt just like the children's stories and the legends the harbingers of the end times we better get moving come here let me see if I can get those bindings off there you go you may as well take on your gear he won't be needing it anymore now, I know that I said my character does not loot bodies. That this is the one on exception. Any good. <laughs> Mostly because, yeah, she's in complete rags. I mean... All right. Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out. <laughs> Yeah. This is the one case where she'll be like, alright, I'll put on the armor. Ah, this was long. Let's see about that gate. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Come on, it's the Imperials. Make cover. Get this gate open. And time for some good old fashioned revenge. <laughs> Imperials had the key. Let's see here. I'm resisting the urge here to we loot. Are. Found the key. Let's see if it opens that door. But I will take an Imperial sword. Because that's the sort of thing, you know, that's laying out in the open. And even though it's the same, I like to think that my character is more comfortable with swords because I myself am more comfortable with swords. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. And cabbages. My cabbages! Yeah, she would definitely grab something to eat. Because according to Rayloff, when we talked to his sister, it's been about two days since the ambush. Everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. 
Okay, now, at this point, she is the type to pick up food, medicine. Meanwhile, Sanguine would be the one looting and taking wine. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, some of my carrying capacity right now, I am role-playing that, yeah. No, I didn't want the wooden bowl, I wanted the bread. Okay, drop that. Unfortunately, this mouse setup is not the best. So yeah, food, glorious food. More wine for Sanguine. <laughs> this is an odd setup because normally I would go for the swords, the armor, it sells for so much. But not in this case, it's all Complete survival, I want food. So yeah, searching these things makes sense from the role-playing standpoint. She's gonna take every ounce of food she can because she's trying to get out of this country. She probably still thinks she can. Done. Let's get moving. And there's a very convenient cave-in. Now let's see if we can save these people this time. Because if you move quickly... There we go! That's a good kill. Oh well. Must have run off. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. We managed to save them, yay! Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Okay, put it down, put it down. She wouldn't be reading, sorry. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. N Yes, I know how lockpicking works, because you have it in every damn game, including Fallout, which I have put over 3,000 hours into Fallout 4, so. Uh, would she take Sparks? She's not the mage, so no. As much as I am itching to take it, he, however, would totally loot but not take any of the gear. Okay, that was actually painful. I'm leaving stuff behind. <laughs> Rayloff, I'm not enjoying myself. I don't want RP anymore. I just want to loot to my heart's content. Now, I do see money down there. She is motivated a little bit by greed because in the story, I like to think that First, she wants to get out of Skyrim, which will take money. But she only takes money that is laying out in the open. And I just looted that skeleton for bone meal and stuff. <laughs> so I'm thinking that he's already with her, you know, like, ooh, I'm going to go looking for booze. So he would not take an ingredient. So that is not okay. I will drop that. I'm not going to loot the bodies. Again, this is painful for me. <laughs> now, I will set fire because ev every character has the ability to do fire. I I had canon that this is just every person learns how to do this because it's like a survival thing. It's the easiest thing for them to do, so. Yes, yes, yes. I know how favorites work. Yeah, it's the one spell she will lose or use. This is flames and healing are the two. Are to wait until General Tullius arrives. But she is not a mage. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to pull back. Prisoners are escaping. Oh, 
can't block that. Let's go on ahead. See if the way is clear. Did we lose somebody? Oh, that's how we lose them, canonically. Usually, I end up getting them killed, either in the chamber or in here. It's nice to see that one of them lived for change. Come on, this... let's see where this goes. I wonder, will he go for that? Yes, he will! I'm usually the one who rushes up and gets it, so... He's actually taking the lead. Now, I almost always miss this. Better push on. The rest of them will have to find another way out. Yes, I'm not going exploring. If this was me and I was experiencing this, I would not be concerned with looting as much. It's like, grab what's right in front of you. But just get out so yes i'm having to play this a bit more realistically so she's not gonna have as much money nor as many that doesn't go anywhere guess we better try this way yeah she's not gonna be uh picking up items to sell later because as far as she's concerned she just wants to get out of this alive now because i haven't been looting let me see i have an arrow which i think was shot into me and nothing else. So I can't just snipe these things off. And she is terrified of spiders, so I'm gonna be role-playing this. Oh god! Spiders! Run, Rayla, run! <laughs> no! But, oh, I can't leave him to die! Oh god, oh god, oh god! I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him! Guys, just, just die, just die! This is the only distance thing I can do! Many eyes, huh? Now, in this, uh, in the chapter I wrote, Sanguine does take the frostbite ve venom. And his excuse is I like to think that you can mix frostbite venom into uh, <laughs> into certain drugs that he likes to consume. Because he's you, you know, he's your data lord of debauchery. Drinking, drugs, sex, money. He is just yeah. <laughs> he's just that type. And he'd be like, ooh, frostbite venom. That makes some good shit. So even though I know that there's stuff over there that I could loot, nope. Character Hold would up. There's just there, just ahead. Yep. See her. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's and Sanguine's like, ooh, fine. Nice and slow. So yes, Watch I'm kind of playing two characters at once. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Now, as far as I've written, it's got I've written up to the point where they're at Riverwood. So, in the story, she does take the bow and knocks an arrow, just in case. But she goes to sneak. Which is very slow. Very cautious. There's a bear. She's gonna sneak on past and get that thing of sneak. I do like how you can still hear Alduin overhead. And see, from a game mechanic, this is the part where you can get the sneak as well as the experience for killing the bear. From a role-playing standpoint, I was like, well, how can that happen? Well, she's walking all along. She's doing fine. He's doing fine. All Dramora carry a two-handed weapon. <laughs> I like to imagine the Sanguine can't sneak. So he trips and falls and awakens the bear. So, bear's awake! <laughs> oh, we're gonna get killed. Sneaking is overrated. And now they have to run in and kill the thing. <laughs> But thankfully, that's an easy bear to take out. No, don't loot, don't loot, don't loot, don't loot, don't loot. You wouldn't loot, you wouldn't loot. 
You see how easy it is for me to just fall back into it and just be like, ooh, fair stuff, I can sell that. No. I want this character to be as desperate as possible when she reaches Riverwood. Looks like the way out. I knew it'd make it. Oh, fresh air, we're finally out. Yay, running forward. And any second now, game. Oh, we're Wait. free. And there he goes. Thank you, Alduin. You're my hero. As he flies he past White Run. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. Yes, that's the direction of White Run. Is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. My I'd... sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. Sure, she'd help you out. It's probably best that we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Now I do want to check. Now here we go. Sunday or Sundas at 2:39 p.m. Last seed, 17th of last seed. Now, last seed. That's in the autumn, if I remember correctly. Because I wish that the weather in Skyrim was more the time of year. I know that's asking for a lot, especially from a game this old. But I would love to see that in the future. Where if they have an actual calendar that's similar to ours, the weather patterns match that. So during the winter months, there's snow everywhere. And then as it gets into summer, you get more green. That would be wonderful. Especially if they could find a way for the trees that load in. You know, you've got a lot of pine here, which would be green all year round. It'd be really neat if they could make the deciduous trees, the ones that have leaves on them, actually like drop their leaves, turn colors, that would be an amazing thing to be able to put into a game. Admittedly, probably a minor thing, but it's the sort of thing that I would appreciate. So I'm just gonna check. Let's see, um, last seed is August, so it's actually late summer. So 17th of August. Now, if I remember correctly, there's supposed to be, uh, let's see, do, 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 last seed. Um, okay, so it doesn't actually say, because the various Daedric war, uh, Daedra that you can summon, the Daedra prince, have a day of summoning. And naturally, being the Daedric lord of debauchery, what day does he get? He gets their version of Valentine's Day, which is the equivalent of February 16th. So we're a ways off from that, but still, I, I like to check these things. So it is now pretty much August 17th in the afternoon. So that would explain why it's, you know, rather nice out. It's a beautiful summer day. And I like how Rayloff says, let's go our own way, and then just stands there and waits for you. So lead the way, Rayloff. You are now my trail guide. Now... Somewhere around here is a red guard because I saw an original playthrough of before special edition came out, the original Skyrim, where somebody said, "Oh, I always go this way and run into this red guard, and he can be really tough." I've never found him. I don't know if he got taken out of special edition or which direction, but you're supposed to be able to leave and go down a very obvious path and run into a red guard, and I have no clue where that is because there is one road, and he's not on it. So yes, this is going to be the hardest part for me because normally I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick the flowers. No. You should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. Now maybe this is the road that they mean where you can run into the Red Guard. I don't know because this is the main road. I do like that uh, Helgen is kind of off of the road. That's a nice touch. And of course, if you go south here, you'll go to Falkreath. But I don't have a house yet, and that's going to be a while. 
See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Well, this is Skyrim. There are literally barrows and ruins everywhere. You get used to the shadow of it literally everywhere. Now, I'm kind of missing one of my mods right now because I have a mod that adds way more trees to forested areas. You can't even see the borrow when he points to it in that version of the game, but... Yeah. This looks pretty good. I did not mean to click that. Sorry, nervous clicker. Sorry. Trigger happy. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Now, I kind of skipped this one uh, in the chapter, but I like to think Merit is the type to try and please people. If you go for mage, you know, he says something, and if you go for thief, he says something, both of which are a little bit on the negative side. But she's not much of a mage, so she would be more tempted by thief. Uh, my personal headcanon is that she's from Riften. She's used to a thieves' guild. And so that would be her temptation. But she also knows, oh, probably people don't like thieves. So, yes, I will go for warrior. Warrior. Good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. And now he turns away and immediately, while well, he's not looking. Hold on. While well, he's not looking. He did not see that. <laughs> no, nobody saw that. <laughs> so she gets his approval and then behind his back is just like, yank. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. Run into any Imperials. Just let me do the talk, alright? Yes, because we're totally not dressed up as Stormcloaks right now. <laughs> wow, he actually got away. Where'd he go? Is he in the water? <laughs> okay, that's never happened before. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, Skyrim is just so delightfully chaotic and I love it. By the way, my uh, personal headcanon for why the game is so glitchy is, um, I'm gonna mispronounce his name, Shagorath? Shagorath, uh, I can't pronounce him. Daedric Lord of Madness is just him messing with you. Because he'd be very entertained with the idea of Sanguine, you know, just traipsing around with this random human. So yes, the glitches can all be explained. And we're going into a town, so weapons away. Oh, the... This game is so pretty. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I don't live near mountains, so I have no idea what that would feel like, but wow, does that. Wow. Looks like nobody here knows what happened. Come on. Girl now probably working in their lumber mill. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll do us all and then you'll believe me. <laughs> and she's right. It did fly over. Brother. Brother, Mara's mercy. It's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? 
One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe her my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'll be right down. <laughs> and see, it's already... The sun's starting to go down, which seems a little odd because it's only 5 o'clock. But we're already getting color. Can I see your ads? Well, I How guess it is going behind the mountains. Killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcold? Hush, Rodan. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then... Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. And this is really nice, because... In my head, you know, Sanguine's just a drunk who's just kind of, like, traipsing about, barely listening, like, what's going on. However, this poor girl has not eaten in probably two days. And while she's grabbed food, she's been too busy fighting. And then she sees fresh bread, some cheese, and the big one, a red apple for her. So, believe it or not, bread and cheese was a big, you know, traveling kind of meal, so... See, I just can't eat that leg of goat root. It looks nasty. Even though uh, she should have some meat. Uh, when I last played this, she had uh, grilled chicken breast. But I guess not. And no, she wouldn't take anything else because she's like, oh, you know, oh, those minor healing would be nice. The lockpick would be nice. You know, everything. I could sell that. That's not Merida. Merida is very much a very generous, loving people person. But she's also out for her own survival. She understands how hard it can be. But she just can't bring herself to take advantage of anybody who's being kind to her. So she would take the bread, the cheese, and the apple and just be grateful. So I have to resist. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. 
It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. And the slow walk begins. Because, yeah, in a town, it, unless you are, like, in a rush, nobody's really running except for the kids. So, it's killing me right now. It's like, I want to run around, get all the quests, and it's like, no, no, remember, you're playing this as though you were a real person. Merida is a real person who just escaped death and a dragon. It's been a long day, and it's already, like, it's already six o'clock. The sun is behind the mountains, casting a beautiful color. They're leading her to a house where she can eat, rest. I had canon that even though they need her to run to white one, it's like, I, uh, anybody would take a rest. They would not go on to white run right away. Furthermore, she's also in Stormcloak clothing. And there's currently this little civil war going on, in case you haven't noticed. And she'd be very aware of that, as well as, Okay, I'm traveling alone with a drunken Daedra who won't leave me alone, dressed in Stormcloak material. I need something else. So she needs time to get her head on straight, think of a plan. Yeah, she's gonna rest. And after I sleep, I will probably uh, end this particular video because, yeah, that's where I'll be caught up. <laughs> Trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, you invited me here. Thank you so very much. Now, if I remember correctly, one I of these. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. Thank you. Now, yeah, you can sleep in this bed. So I like to imagine she immediately wolfs down some bread. And, yeah, she hasn't had a chance to cook anything, so she's got raw meat and stuff there. But she's like, okay, you know, I've eaten. Sleep. So even though it's early, uh, let's see. Yeah, nine hours is, uh, you know, goodly amount. You know, she's exhausted. Let's let her sleep. Meanwhile, Sanguine drinks a couple and then just curls up next to her because that's just who he is. It is now, yeah, four o'clock in the morning. She's awake. She's tired. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. I like to imagine that everybody else is asleep despite the fact that the game apparently doesn't allow anybody to sleep. And she just quietly leaves. And smells that beautiful crisp air. And just, yeah, take a moment. She's free. She's rested. She's eaten. She is relatively safe-ish. But she comes to the conclusion she needs different clothing. And the only thing she has are her rags and this Stormcloak Curious. She needs a change of armor. Especially if she's going to survive. Especially if she's going to go to uh, White Run and deliver a message. There's any number of things could happen on the road. Including being caught by Imperials and beheaded. Remember, she's had a bad day. So, I like to think that she... Okay, I'm just going to speed it up because it's taking too long. I can only walk for so long! <laughs> but yeah, I like to imagine she walks over to the bridge and just... Contemplates. You know, maybe sits on the edge and just looks over and is like, okay, now what? None of the stores are open. I need a plan. She sits here, enjoys a wonderful red apple, which, granted, it's got a little green on it, so I like to think these are Fuji apples because those are so good. They're my favorite. And then Sanguine comes along and talks to her, gives her another one because she is bribable. So, there we go. 
This is where I'm caught up in the story right now, so I'm going to end this video here with this beautiful view. And when we start up, I will play for a time, and then I'm going to continue writing uh, what I play. So if shenanigans happen, shenanigans happen, and it gets included in the story. So look forward to it. Thank you so much.